it's time to get political. Haven't been political for a good number of months now. And there's a good reason why I haven't been political online or making videos. One second, I'll tell you a little bit about it. You see, being political usually means supporting some particular party or group of people or something like that. Well, it's become increasingly clear that if I were to say support or vote for the Labour Party, uh, I might just as well vote for the Tory party. The Labour Party, as I'm sure most of you understand, is nothing more than Tory light. The Labour Party has a leader who will um, break picket lines, break strikes. The Labour Party has a leader who, when it comes to things like child poverty and uh, meals in schools and whatever, we call him Sir Kid Starver because any plan to give free school meals to kids is probably sometimes the only decent meal they get during the day. Sir Kid Starver and his little sidekick, uh, Wes Not Eating, well, they're not going to do that because, well, that would be socialist. And if anyone wants to vote socialist, well, no, 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 people would write, people hate socialism. I mean, they're supposed to hate Jeremy Corbyn, and we've been all told if um, if he'd won the last general election, could you imagine the state the country would be in? Can you imagine what would have happened? So political's kind of difficult at the moment. Now, while political might be difficult at the moment, it is still vitally important. It is still vitally important that Whoever you vote for, for crying out loud, don't vote the Tories in. Do you know what, though? And this is sad. It's really, really, really sad. I think they'll get in again. Just as much as I think Trump might again stand for US president, I think the Tories could get in again. Do you know why? Because people have believed the rubbish they come up with in the media. They have believed their propaganda. But if they do get in again, if they do get in again, there's a few things you'd better start getting ready to say goodbye to. One of the first of these things is your civil rights. Because honestly, they don't care. They don't think you've got civil rights. They're already after your right to strike. They're already after your right to protest. They're already after your right to assemble. They don't care. This country is walking into a dystopian fascist state. I absolutely promise you that is what is happening. Look what's happening to uh, groups like LGBTQI plus people. Look what's happening to people who say anything concerning the environment, looking after the planet. Look what is happening. They are being suppressed. Now, this is a worldwide trend. The world seems to be lurching towards the far right and fascist politics. Europe is lurching that way. America's basically already gone that way. And pretty soon, I don't think there's that long to wait, quite honestly, they'll not only be banning the books in your libraries, they'll be coming for you if you happen to think wrongly or disagree with them or something, or have an independent opinion, or want to be different, they'll be coming for you. Whether you're LGBTQI+, or whatever, your behaviour, your relationships, are going to be outlawed. Now, finally, do I have a solution? Well, obviously don't vote Tory. I'm not sure 
about having to vote Labour because the alternative is we get the Tories in again. But be very much aware of the shift in this country to callousness, to don't care about others, to I'm all right, Jack, pull up the ladder, to poor people aren't even worth bothering with, schools are not really worth um, maintaining or rebuilding because after all they're only ordinary kids that go there and you know like the 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 decent kids go to Eton and Harrow don't they and Eton and Harrow in your private schools aren't going to have any problems with the reinforced concrete falling down are they anyway people have said I haven't done anything on politics for a while so uh, this was on politics bye Hello, salute, send here, hmm, hi Duke. See that all, you beat up, but me, I stay, fair to cheat up.